Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all-new Nissan X-Trail. Claire, it's been so long. It's been 22 years, Sarah Marie. I'm having so much fun catching up with you. And you know what's great? Jetstar's Fly, a friend for free holiday packages sale is on now. So friends all around Australia can also reunite on a holiday together. Book a Fly, a friend for free package deal where for each full paying passenger, you'll get free flights for one more. Choose from heaps of Aussie destinations. So grab a friend and plan your next trip. Book at Jetstar.com. Ends midnight Eastern Standard Time, 3rd July, and let's sold out prior. Selected packages, flights, travel dates, and conditions apply. A listener production. What's behind that sinkhole in Mount Gambia and more support for small businesses? Rain should ease up a bit today before it's all back again tomorrow. Good morning, I'm Katie Martin with your Limestone Coast Local News. You've probably seen it, it'd be hard to miss, the big sinkhole on Margaret Street in Mount Gambia. It's appeared after heavy rain. The city of Mount Gambia says a preliminary investigation suggests it's a naturally occurring cave that's given way, but further investigation is needed and will happen when it's safe. They're asking people to stay away from the area. The hole is fenced off. This one's for any small business owners. There's new help on the way for you in the form of a business support officer. The new officers are state government funded and will be deployed across the Limestone Coast, offering tailored services to equip business with the information, support and resources required to start, run and grow their business. The state government says officers will understand the unique challenges and opportunities of the region. And this is all ahead of a small business forum happening today. The Mount Gambia Chamber of Commerce has organised the event for this afternoon with some big names in attendance. Barker MP Tony Passant says he's bringing the shadow treasurer Angus Taylor along. I'm keen for him to hear from small, medium and family businesses about the challenges they're facing in our community. Meantime, if you're east of the border and looking for work, you'll no longer have access to a best practice careers advice service. The Victorian government cutting the Free Jobs Victoria Career Counsellors Service. It gave specialist support to Indigenous Victorians, older people, women returning to work, among others. The service program manager, Craig Eastwood, says while there are plenty of employment agencies out there, they aren't like this. Not to our level of qualified career practitioners against industry standard. The OECD actually recognised this service as best practice. A call out to anyone who's considered joining the SA Ambulance Service. They need volunteer ambulance officers and you'd be given free ambulance cover for yourself and your family. Upper Limestone Coast Regional Team Leader Sarah Malthouse has told the Border Watch the career is challenging but worth it. Another major Limestone Coast site to manage for Belgravia Pro. The management services company will head the Southern Ocean Tourist Park for the next 12 months. Their portfolio already includes the Willanda Recreation and Convention Centre. And east of the border, we're into the Victorian school holidays, falling when roads are at their most treacherous. Often wet and slippery with low visibility and less light, it can be a dangerous time to travel. Victoria Police Acting Assistant Commissioner Martin O'Brien says drivers need to be more careful in the state's southwest. With schools being out, drivers can expect to see in regional urban areas. There's more kids about to be wary of as well. So it not only applies to those 100k zones uh, out in regional areas, it applies to those 40k and 50k built up area zones where you can expect to see more foot traffic and children about. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. <laughs> Take the Pepsi Max Taste Challenge. 
Western Borders, two weakest teams almost unseated some top sides in the weekend footy. Bottom placed East Gambia fell just three points short of the win against North, while it was a four-point margin when South lost to West.